It took a hundred years after that great event in Irish history before the Irish people decided to try and rise in rebellion again. So a very momentous time. A little poem beforehand called Who Fears to Speak of 98? Who fears to speak of 98? Who blushes at the name? When cowards mock our patriots' fate, who hangs their head in shame? They're all a slave or half a knave who mock our country thus. But true men, like you men, will fill your glass with us. What's the news? What's the news? Oh, my bold chandelier, with your long barreled gun from the sea. Say what wind from the south blows his messenger here with a hymn of the dawn for the free. Goodly news, goodly news, shall I bring you the folk? Goodly news, shall you hear, bargey man? For the boys march and mourn from the south to the north, led by Kelly, the boy from Calam. Tell me who is the giant with the gold curling hair? He who stands at the head of your band. Seven feet is his height with some inches to spare. And he looks like a king in command. And my boys, that's the pride of the bold chandeliers. Our greatest of heroes, a man. For John Kelly, the boy from the land. Ah, the brave son of freedom grew dark at New Ross and set by the slaves' red ways. And poor Wexford, stripped naked, hung high on a cross, her heart pierced by traitors and slaves. Glory, oh, glory, oh. To her brave sons who died for the cause of long downtrodden man. Glory all to my Leinsters of darling and pride, John Kelly, the boy from the land. Glory all to my Leinsters of darling and pride, John Kelly, the boy.